The recent actions and intentions of the major central banks reaffirm our negative view on the sovereign bond market. We expect a steepening in the US curve as the third hike is already priced in and pass-through effects from the weak dollar should weigh on the long end. We remain neutral on the European and UK curves as the ECB tapering will be gradual and any action by the Bank of England will be within the context of macroeconomic stability. Global investment grade credit remains expensive from a spread perspective, but we focus on names with smart beta characteristics, such as value, momentum, and curve positioning. Global high yield will continue to provide a good choice for carry collections as long as sentiment for risky assets remains intact. Turning to equities, solid PMIs and robust consumer spending are the catalyst for a continuation of the recent positive trend. As such, we favor Europe, US, Canada and Japan. On a sector level, we prefer consumer discretionary, financials and industrials. Adding protection to our portfolios at a factor level, we favor value and minimum volatility against growth and momentum. In the EM space, we favor Brazil, Chile, Russia, China, Vietnam, and Thailand. The pending third hike by the Fed should provide some support to the US dollar. But without any concrete news on tax policy or infrastructure spending, Trump's actions are having a negative impact. We remain long-term buyers of the euro due to the state of the hiking cycle, the level of economic activity, and anticipated flows into the euro area. However, for the fourth quarter, we do not expect the euro to move beyond its recent highs without Draghi's help. The sterling remains vulnerable to the evolution of Brexit discussions and sluggish GDP growth, but we remain cautiously optimistic with the prospect of an economic recovery scenario. Recent dislocation in energy markets has pushed crude prices above $50. However, with U.S. inventories still in positive territory, we expect prices to remain in the 45-55 range. It's a similar picture for precious metals, as geopolitical risks are weighed against global tightening sentiment. Finally, we're positive on industrial metals and grains.